Dear young debaters, unfortunately, I'm not able to take part in your debate today, but I wanted to tell you how important and timely your discussions are. The Mediterranean region has always been of strategic importance to the European Union. In November, we will celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Barcelona Declaration. This celebration is a good moment to give a new momentum to the Euro-Mediterranean relations. I want to use this occasion to relaunch our cooperation with countries in the region. Investing in youth has always been and will continue to be a priority. Young people should be able to build up a future in their country and should be able to influence the debates in their countries. We will make sure that your views are being heard when we discuss the reshaping of our strategy with the Southern Mediterranean countries. Climate action and digitalization will be high on the agenda of the European Union in the coming years. Climate change is heavily affecting the Mediterranean and the renewed cooperation with our southern neighbors will promote innovative solutions to improve air and water quality, but also to manage waste, land and water resources effectively. Building a low carbon society and economy is a big challenge, but also a huge opportunity for economic growth and job creation. The future societies will be digital societies, also in the Mediterranean. To this end, digital expansion is not just about new technology. It calls for a genuine strategy to use it for the national and regional development. The renewed partnership with the Mediterranean will put the information society at the center of the relations aiming to create a common digital area. While digitalization offers small and medium-sized enterprises opportunities to innovate and grow, it also has consequences for skill requirements for workers. Education and vocational training in the Euromed region are therefore key to fully benefit from the digitalization transformation. Youth unemployment remains a regional challenge. So we will pay particular attention to the economic reforms, boosting investments and job creation in the region and helping to reduce inequalities, especially for young people. This will require private sector mobilization on both sides of the Mediterranean in order to respond to market needs and to think of new business models that are more innovative and greener. Without good and inclusive governance, the region will not achieve its economic objectives. Consequently, our renewed partnership will also put emphasis on areas such as justice and rule of law, more broadly, the fight against corruption, organized crime, illegal migration and terrorism. Given the importance of investing in education for the development of a country, I will actively work with the countries and the universities in the region so that young people receive the best education and training and can study and find jobs across the region. Every year, the European Commission provides more than 30 million euros to higher education institutions to cooperate and modernize curriculum in the Southern Mediterranean region through Erasmus Plus capacity building projects. More than 120 promising projects are currently running. In addition, since 2015, Erasmus Plus has financed more than 30,000 student and staff exchanges between the two shores of the Mediterranean. In addition, 450 Southern Mediterranean students received a full Erasmus Mundus Master Scholarship to study in Europe. So we have still a lot of work to do, but I'm confident that the role of youth in the South will be important in the years to come. I thank you for your attention and I wish you a successful debate.